Hi there, boys and girls. It is so good to see you here in Chapel of the Good Shepherd for our children's chapel. Today we are going to sing a song called Peace Like a River, and we're going to hear a story about Simon who went fishing. He was a friend of Jesus, and Jesus helped him catch a lot of fish. So let's get started. Light the candles. I didn't forget this time. So I will light them. There we go. Our candles are lit. So chapel has started. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us pray. God in me and God in you is everything we think and do. We thank you, God, that this is so. We thank you that we love and grow. Amen. Growing. I bet you're doing some growing and there's lots of things outside that are growing. What are some of the things outside that you see growing? Flowers and grass, leaves, all those things. Okay, so let's sing Peace Like a River. It has three verses. And when we say peace, we do this. And when we say river or ocean, we do this. And at one point in the song, we say love. So we make a heart. And at another point in the song, we say joy like a fountain. So we make joy and fountain with our fingers, okay? Let's give it a try. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean in my soul. I've got love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Thank you for singing that with me. And maybe you're learning it, and that's great. And you could even teach your parents how to sing it. It's a great song. Okay, so let's read our story. It's called Simon and His Boat. Simon had a boat, and every day Simon got into his boat and went splish splash out into the water to catch fish. Can you make a splish splash sound? One time, Simon and his friends worked hard all night trying to catch fish. Do you know how many they caught? How many? How many do you think they caught? Not even one. Let's go home, they said. So Simon and his friends turned back and took the boat home. Splish, splash, splish, splash all the way. What do you think? I think they were sad. They were probably sad. Okay, get ready for some stepping. After a while, step, 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 Jesus came along. Now everybody wanted to get close to Jesus. Big people pushed this way and little people pushed that way. 
There was so much pushing. We don't like it when there's pushing, do we? There was so much pushing that Jesus got into Simon's boat. Simon, he said, please move your boat out into the water. I want to sit and talk to the people. Well, Simon wanted to please Jesus. So he did what Jesus said, and he pushed the boat, splish, splash, splish, splash, out into the water. Look at all those people. Jesus sat in the boat and the people stood beside the water. Now everybody could see Jesus, everybody could hear him, and Jesus talked to them about God. When he was done talking, Jesus said, Simon, take your boat out into the deep water to catch some fish. Now Simon wanted to please Jesus, so he said, we worked hard all night to catch fish, but we didn't catch even one. But I'll do what you say. So Simon made the boat go out where the water was deep. His brother went too, and they put their fishing net into the water. And all at once, what do you think happened? The net was full of fish, big fish, little fish, wiggly fish. Can you make a fishy face? Oh my, Simon and his brother waved to their friends. Quick, come and help. Oh my goodness, do you see all those fish? The friends came in their boat. They filled up both boats with fish, big fish, little fish, wiggly fish. Oh my. Simon and his friends looked at all those fish. Where had so many fish come from? Then Jesus told them about something better than catching fish. From now on, Jesus said, you will bring people to me. So Simon and his friends left the fish, they left the boats, and they went with Jesus. That's the story. By bringing people, Jesus just means you're gonna make lots of friends. I know you all have so many friends. It's hard right now not seeing all our friends, isn't it? Well, you know what? We can still offer prayers for all our friends in our prayer boxes. So let's get out our prayer box. Hmm, where's mine? Hmm, hmm, <gasps> it's over here. Here's my prayer box. Okay, so I think I'm going to thank God today for friends. All my Good Shepherd School friends, all my teacher friends, all the friends Emma and Parker and Claire and Charlie. So many friends, right? Okay, what are you going to thank God for? Put it in your prayer box. Thanking God for friends. And then together we say, Amen! Well, my friends, it was good to see you for this week's chapel. So peace be with you and go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. I didn't forget to put out the candles. Bye.